Tepid Radio. 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 Tepid Radio is always here for you to give you lessons on air for vital information and quality education wherever you are, whatever you do. This is Tepid Radio Lesson on Air. Tepid Radio Lesson on Air. Tepid Radio made possible by Tepid Radio Philippines. Member KDP Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas and Department of Education. Sulong at kapalidad. In pursuit of continuous quality education, living up to DepEd's mandate of no student should be left behind. From the home of Sarong Bangi, the land of Oragons, this is Santo Domingo National High School. School on Air. School on Air. Good, good afternoon. How are you today, my dear grade 10 students? I hope that you are in comfortable situation while listening in this radio-based instruction episode within the frequency reach of KISS 108 FM. I hope that you will listen to me attentively. I'm your teacher, Serena, from Santo Domingo National High School, Junior High School Department. At this point, I want you to get your ball pen and some sheets of paper. These are needed for jotting important notes and for several activities we're about to do. Now, kindly get your learning activity sheets in Art Stand Quarter 3, Number 2. Our lesson is about the media based art and design in the Philippines, concentrated on film or cinema. So class, are you ready to listen and learn? What is the learning skills from the milk of this media based art and design in the Philippines for film and cinema? The objective is to identify art elements in the various media based arts in the Philippines. Take note, my dear grade 10 students, our objective for film, film and cinema, after listening for this radio-based instruction, you'll be able to learn this objective. Sit back and enjoy while listening. Let's review our past lesson for photography. Do you still remember our past lesson? Photography? Are you ready for the class? What is the meaning of the Greek word potus? Please recite at the same time. Okay, I'm waiting. Mm-hmm. Meaning light. Okay, let's proceed to number two. Meaning of Greek word grapos means what? Meaning? Mm-hmm. Writing. All right. It's a good job. Let's proceed to the introductory concept of the film. Here we go. Another art form that has risen to tremendous height within the last century is the film or cinema. As its early name, motion pictures declared the film brought yet another dimension into play, that of moving images. The possibility of this medium created a new art form that was to become a powerful social and economic force and a legacy of the 20th century to the world. Are you still listening? Let's talk about technology-driven art. Cinema, just at all modern art, has been greatly influenced by technology. In the case of cinema, however, it is an art form that came into being because of technological advances. The transition from still photography came into the late 
18th century with the series photography. In the inventions of celluloid strip film, this allowed successive still photos of moving subject to be captured on a strip or film advancing through a single camera. This was the seed of the highly advanced film medium we enjoy today. Do you understand, class? The need to view these moving images led to the rise of the Kenestoko, a peep show cabinet with an eye hole through which these earliest movies could be viewed one person at a time. Can you imagine? Can you be viewed one person at a time? A motor inside the cabinet moved the film strip along its loop with the electric bulb providing illumination from beneath. May I repeat? The need to view these moving images led to the rise of the Keno Stoko, a pep show cabinet with an eye hole through which these earliest movies could be viewed one person at a time. A motor inside the cabinet moved the film strip along its loop with the electric bulb providing illumination beneath. Okay, meanwhile, European and American inventors were providing one technological advancement. Another, the prince developed cinematography, a hand crank camera, printer, and projector all in one that was lightweight enough to bring outside the studio by 1901. The earliest motion picture were rapidly progressing from one scene, studio films, to multiple scenes, narrative film outdoors, driven by this and many more advances. The art aspect of filmmaking was born. Class, are you with me? Thanks God, are still there. Thanks God. Let's talk about the collaborative art of filmmaking. Here we go. Filmmaking, because of its technical complexity, involves inter-teams of artists, writers, and production experts, supported by technicians taking charge of the cameras, lighting equipment, sets, props, costume, and the like all under the supervision of film director. Now, let's proceed to the film directing. Okay, may I repeat? Film directing. It is director like the painters and sculpture in traditional art who envision the final effect of the film on its viewer visually mentally and emotionally while the painter in sculpture work with a physical material the film director works with ideas images sounds and other effects to create this unique pieces of art he or she conceptualizes the scene directs the acting supervises the cinematography and finally, the editing and sound dubbing in much the same way as its visual artist composes an artwork. However, the director does not do all this alone. Acting. Next is acting. First and foremost, there was the art of acting for film with live theater as the only form of acting at the time. Film actors have to learn to express themselves without the exaggerated facial expressions and gestures used on stage. With addition of sound in the 1930s, they then had to learn to deliver their lines naturally and believably. Do you memorize this class? Let's jump to cinematography. OK? 
Okay? Let's jump to the cinematography. Behind the scenes, there was cinematography or the art of film camera work. This captured the director's vision of each scene through camera placement and movement, lighting, and other special techniques. Please memorize the importance of cinematography. All right. Let's proceed to the editing. Okay, may I repeat? Let's proceed to the editing. This was joined by film editing, the art of selecting the precise sections of the film, then sequencing and joining them to achieve of the director's desired visual and emotional effects. Sounds editing was also developed as film became to include more ambitious effects behind the dialogue and background music. Did you understand the importance of editing in cinema or film class? Let's jump to the last one, which is the production or set design. May I repeat? Let's jump to the last one, which is the production set or design. Underlying all this were the art of production and set design. This recreated in physical terms through location, scenery, sets, lighting, costume, and props. The mental image that the director had of how each scene should look, what period it should defect, and what atmosphere it should convey. This include creating words that did not exist as well as words that were long gone, designing its production component down to the very last detail. Now, you know the collaborative of filmmaking. Can you recite one by one? Okay, go, go, go. Do you want to know the different genres of film or cinema? May I repeat? Do you want to know the different genres of film or cinema? Okay, here we are. The following are the film genres, such as number one, silent films. No dialogue, but full of action. The famous actor is Charlie Chaplin. May I repeat? First, silent films. No dialogue but full of action. The famous actor is Charlie Chaplin. And number two, slap stick comedy. May I repeat? Slap stick comedy. Films were physical comedy that includes pratfalls, tripping, falling, practical jokes, and mistakes are highlighted over. And number three, horror or scary, that seeks to elicit fear or disgust in its audience for entertainment purposes. Horror films often explore the dark subject matter. And number four, animated picture film. May I repeat? Number four, animated picture films. In a short film, aim at children and picturing an exaggerated visual style. The style takes inspiration from comic strip. And number five, historical or biographical film. May I repeat? Historical or biographical film that dramatizes the life of a non-fictional or historically based person or people. And number six, the last film genre is futuristic or science fiction film. May I repeat? The last film genre is futuristic or science fiction film that uses speculative Fictional science-based depiction on phenomena that are not fully accepted by the mainstream. Hoping you will still in your mind the seven the different films 
genres. May I repeat, hoping you will steal in your mind the different film genres. Can you enumerate the following films? I know you can do it. Go, go, go! Who are the famous Filipino film directors? May I repeat? Who are the famous Filipino film directors? Are the following sets as Number one, Lino Broca. This is my favorite uh, Filipino film director, Lino Broca. Tinimbangka Ngunit Kulang, 1974. Maynila Sa Mga Kuko ng Liwanag, 1975. Mike Dillon, Itim, 1976. Sister Stella L. 1984 Bayaning Third World 1999 Ismael Bernal Himala 1982 and Fegi Kalyaga Oro Plata Mata 1983 May I repeat? Oro Plata Mata And number two, Laures Jillian. May I repeat? Laures Jillian earned international acclaim at the Toronto International Film Festival. Her more recent film such as Tanging Yaman, 2001, which won Best Picture in the Metro Manila Film Festival. American Adobo, 2002, Santa Santita, 2004, and Sayulamang, 2010, all gained her recognition among the current generation of Filipino moviegoers. And number three, Marilo Diaz Abaya. May I repeat? Marilo Diaz Abaya captured the attention and the spec of the viewing public with powerful films such as Oserizal in 1998. May I repeat? Marilo Diaz Abaya captured the attention and respect of the viewing public with powerful films such as Oserizal in 1998. Perfectly timed for the centennial celebration of Philippine independence. Moro Ami 1999, which bravely exposed the deadly practice of using child divers to pun for fish in the Philippines. Coral reefs. And next is Bagong Buwan 2001, which dealt with the human cause of Muslim Christian conflict in Mindanao. Okay, are you still with me? Number four, Mario J. De Los Reyes. May I repeat? Number four, Mario J. De Los Reyes. The heartwarming drama film Magnifico won for him the Best Director Distinction at the 2003 PAMAS Award and garnered other local and international film award as well. De Los Reyes continues to be active in both film and television media, having more known for well-loved teleseries, television drama series, who among you watched the movie Magnifico? The last best director of the Philippines that brought the county to the cinema world attention, which is Brillante Mendoza. No other than our very own Brillante Mendoza. He was originally a production designer for film, commercials, and music videos and started directing film in 2005. But in just four years, his film, Kinatay, The Execution of P, 
won for him the Best Director Award at the highly prestigious Cannes Film Festival of 2009. Now you know already the best or great film directors of the Philippine cinema. Let's recite the best film director in the Philippines at the same time in my count. One, two, three, and four, and five. Okay, very good. Excellent job, my dear student. Who among you who got a perfect score? Ha! Ah, congratulations! Those who cannot make it, don't worry. We have a lot of chances to be able to learn. Next time, focus on listening. Now, let's have activity to measure your understanding about the, the discussion for today. Are you ready for class? First question. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of film or cinema? Aha, I know you can answer this. And number two, my dear student, can you enumerate the collaborative art of filmmaking? I believe you can answer this. Mm -hmm. I am waiting for your answer. Third question. Who are the Filipino directors have won several awards for film or cinema? Please write your answer. I am so excited to see your answer. I believe in you, and you believe also to yourself. You can make it. If you have question, concern, and clarification with activities, Kindly send your message in our group chat. I am willing to assist and help you anytime. And please be reminded of your tasks in FB group and messengers. Kindly pass your answer through FB group, personal message, or printed answer sheet to be passed during the distribution and retrieval of module. Be on time for your answer. Early birds catches more worms. Mm-hmm. So, that's all for today. It has been another awesome day of learning. I hope that you enjoyed today's Rage Base lesson episode. Until next time, this had been your radio teacher, Serenyel, saying a film is never good unless the camera is an eye in the head of poet. May I repeat? A film is never good unless the camera is an eye in the head of poet, said Orson Welles. So that's it for today. Good luck and good goodbye, great 10 students.